Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. And you, the, you, and this job is the worst job for pumping. It I really know. is. It's like, can you take care of my four patients I while know. I go, you know, breast pump? Yeah, I understand. What's ideal in that situation for pumping without losing your supply hmm. when you do go back? How long are you going to get to take off, Amanda? I'll be off. The baby is due the end of September, early October, and I'm going back January 1st. Hmm. Okay, so I think, right, that's kind of a complicated situation, but I think, you know, I mean, legally it's your right, and if any place is going to observe it, it's going to be somewhere like a healthcare facility, but the things, you know, and obviously you have to be smart about it, because like you said, you have peers, but you know, somehow you manage sometimes to eat, and somehow you manage to sometimes sit down in the break room and have a cup of coffee, so I know, not really, but I get it, but you, I mean, you really do have to try to find a way, but I mean, I guess your worst case scenario is that you would then go ahead and have to supplement with either a formula or whatever the times that you were working, whenever you were with the baby, you'd have to feed religiously. We had a nurse who used to, it, will your husband be home? Like, are you gonna be able to do a weekend shift or are you going right back into 312s? I don't know. Who used to bring their baby up to breastfeed? Yeah, Abby. Yeah, remember? She's she did that for like too. a year. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she work here now? Yeah, she's here now. And her husband used to bring the baby to breastfeed, and she would breastfeed and then go back. Yeah, and that was easier, and she hated pumping, so that kept her supply going, and it was great. And he came up like twice a shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ideally, would you want to pump like at least twice a shift? Like that? At least, yeah. Yeah. In 12, yeah. What I heard was try to pump when your baby's normally. Yeah, yes. you do want to mimic the baby's feedings. That's your ideal. And you're going to make it the last thing you do before you leave the house and the first thing you do when you feed get the baby. home is feed the baby. So that makes it a little bit easier because pumping's never, like we talked about before, going to empty you the way that a baby would. So you really want to make that your priority. So you, you know, mama, mommy way, you know, don't feed the baby or whoever's watching the baby, you know. And even daycare, they'll work with you that yeah. way. Because you'll call and say, please don't feed him. I'm on my way. Don't do it. Right. And they know you're breastfeeding, and, and they'll wait. You've, I've seen people feed at daycare just mm -hmm. because then you can make another feeding before then they Then you have another, yeah, bed. you've gotten one half an hour close to not, right? Yep, yep. It's a, it's a journey. It's, it is. It's it a is, commitment. and it's all about figuring it out. And you will figure out what works for you. And it all seems so big and crazy. But, you know, we are in that. And you guys have each other. And, you know, so she'll tell you it worked for her. And in turn, you might plug some of that into your life and so on. And that's why this stuff kind of counts. Because I'm not here in this stuff right now. I'm, I'm done with this stuff. So what I did and what worked for me is going to be definitely different than mm -hmm. what works for you. And these people are kind of in your community running your same lives. I mean, I did it. I was a working mother. And it's it's, you know, it's hard, but it's easy to kind of have people to bounce things off of and you'll figure out a plan that works.